Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to get your Belkin and wireless USB adapter for a PC to work on your Mac. Um, I've tested this on Mac OS 10.4 and Mac OS 10.5. Um, I've tried it on an iMac G3 and an eMac G4, and it's worked perfectly great on both of them. Now, first you need to make sure that you're connected to the internet through your Ethernet port or some other type of connection. I'm connected through the Ethernet. Next, you need to go to Safari or Firefox or whatever you use and go to gavinstipsandtricks.co.nr. It's in the description. Okay, once you get to here, let it load. Once you get here, click on Downloads. And you can read through this whole thing. Okay? Choose the one that is your operating system. If you have Panther, choose that one. If you have Tiger, choose this one. And if you have Leopard, choose this one. Okay, you just click it and it'll start downloading for you. I already have it downloaded, so I can go to my downloads. And it's right here. Okay, now you'll get one of these three folders. What you need to do is open one of these folders, and then you'll, you should have uninstall.command and USB wireless.pkg. Double click on this, and it will open up the installer. Okay, it'll tell you stuff here. You should read that, then click continue. It'll tell you how much it'll take. Click install. It'll ask for your password, and it will install it. I already have it installed. Once you get it installed, it will ask you to reboot your computer. Go ahead and reboot your computer, and then once you get it rebooted, unplug your Ethernet port. Okay? This will disconnect you from the Internet. Now go to your System Preferences, and go to Network. Okay? You can see I'm not connected to anything. Now, what you need to do is take your USB adapter and plug it in to your computer. And then this little icon down here should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, go to your applications and search for an icon that looks like this. Okay? Now you should come up with this and it'll give you all the networks. I chose mine and I hit connect. Also, if you go to profile and set up profile, that helps it to connect. I hit activate and it'll activate that. Now you can close out of this. You don't have to, but you can. So I just quit out of it. Now if we click, it might come up with a pop-up window telling you that you have a new connection. If it doesn't, then hit the plus button. Choose USB Ethernet. It might say N1 or N2. You can name it whatever you want. And then it'll come up right here. Now if it says no IP address, then go ahead and unplug it. And then plug it back in. This utility will pop up again. And then make sure that you connect to that network. If it still says no IP address, go to advanced, turn the radio off, wait a few seconds, and then turn your radio back on. Connect to your network again. You should be connected now. If it doesn't show up as connected in here, then go ahead and close out your system preferences and then go back in and see if it connected. There it goes. If it's green, you're good to go. So you can go ahead and close out of that. You can quit out of this. Go to Safari. You are on the internet again. Congratulations. Now you have a wireless USB adapter for any Mac running 10.3, 10.4, or 10.5. Now I would really like it if if you have an Intel Mac to test this out on the Intel and see if it works the same as it does on my two power PCs. Okay? 
Thanks for watching this episode. This is officially season five of GTT. Um, more episodes are coming, and you'll probably have a lot more Mac episodes. There's going to be some more Windows episodes, more Linux, more iPod Touch, possibly. So you just have to gonna wait and see. So I'll see you next time.